Welcome to Hamar, welcome to Ankerskogen, and welcome to another episode of 18 Under with Innova Discs. Uh, we're just a couple of crushes away from uh, Mjøsa, Norway's biggest lake. We're uh, in the middle of summer, it's hot, and we're here with the Norwegian champion Knut Håland, just a couple of days away from Norwegian championships, which are played here at Ankerskogen this year. What, do you, what can you say about this course? What are your feelings about it? I would say that uh, the winner, <coughs> it's going to be the right winner here. It's a, yeah, it's a tough course, uh, many wooded holes and uh, also some uh, long destroyer uh, distance shots. We played around in at Sula, your home course, uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, what changes are you doing to your bag uh, at this course? I'm pretty much having the same bag, but I'm taking out some of my uh, destroyers and maybe in some more T-Birds. And yeah, that's the only change I have. Okay, I can't wait to see what you can do and if you can manage an 18 under round here at Ankerskogen. Uh, let's go to hole number one. Yeah. So this is hole one, it's uh, 99 meters and uh, we're just gonna hit the gap, no mandos, no OB. So I'm throwing my uh, slightly understable case hero. That's good. That's good enough already? Yeah. <laughs> Cool. So, this is obviously not the first time you're here in uh, Ankerskogen. No. What your What's your feelings about the course? Uh, I, have a I have a good feeling. I can uh, I throw many shots with my rock and uh, T-bird. You gotta hit your line. So it's uh, no OB lines. Uh, at least uh, on many of the holes, it's just natural OB. So if you end up in the forest and they almost have to pitch out so we're left with uh what is it 12 meters or something uh, with i would say it's 12 meters and you're putting with your nexus firefly yeah. And as you're picking up your first disc, we uh, I guess we can explain that we actually thought we were going to speak Norwegian today, but uh, since we saw that there was just so many English-speaking uh, viewers and new subscribers, we thought to uh, hell outside Throne 9 with it, and uh, let's go for English today as well. Yeah. Could be a little entertaining as well. Yeah, for sure. speaking <laughs> English. So we'll uh, hold up to hole two on the layout. You will notice that if you have played this before, that uh, we have already skipped one hole. And uh, that's because we are only playing 18 holes at uh, the Norwegian Championships. So this is uh, a part four, 132 meters, OB to the left side. So uh, it's, it's a pre pretty reachable hole. So I'm going for my Casey Pro Rock again and uh, trying to uh, land inside maybe 20 15 meters. That's good. That's a look. So, when you won the Norwegian Championships last year, yeah? it was quite a different course. Yeah, that was uh, longer holes, more of, more of a ball golf course, maybe. Yeah. No How way. are you going to be able to defend it in such a different layout? No, I think you have to be good at every shots to be a great disc golfer. So I'm pretty confident with also hitting gaps. Uh, yeah. So 
I don't think it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, for really, it's the competition is really hard, and uh, I have to be uh, be at my best to have a chance to defend it. Yeah. A bit shorter than uh, I expected after the tee shot, but it did still a good look. And uh, uh, apart from the log, uh, right in the way for my jump pad, I'm happy with the shot. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> three under after two. This is old tree, the OB Island, 80 meters, pretty much downhill. And uh, you have to try to land before the basket or else you will just skip out. So I'm throwing my overstable AVR X3. After a good drive, I'm uh, just left with an easy tap. -in. So uh, we're on T on hole four. It's quite a difficult hole to see from the tee pad, so I'll just be standing here. Uh, and Knut is telling me he's throwing the star T bird. Trying to get up the fairway as far as possible and go left. Okay, Knut. After the tee shot, I'm left with just an easy picture with my star ever three. All right. I yeah, I'm here at uh, hole five, and uh, you can't see the basket, but it's a dog leg right after uh, 80 meters. So I'm throwing my forehand, uh, my Thunderbird, the forehand flex, and trying to get it to skip towards the basket. I guess it's good. I hit a log or something, I think. So it stopped my skip, but I think I'm still inside 10 meters. One of the first, <clears throat> I guess, I think that was one of the first forehands I've ever seen you throw on this, uh, on this show. <laughs> yeah, I don't uh, throw uh, that much forehand. I'm also shaping my shot with a putter or a rock. I'm also my knee black hurt. Case. I think it, I think it was a black case. case. I think it was a black case. So I guess I skipped and hit the log right there. But it's still uh, inside uh, 10 meters. So I'm happy. Ooh. <laughs> Another birdie. The course designer. Course designer. Course Correct. designer. Are you are you the course designer here? I've played a couple of rounds with him, and I think uh, maybe hole 16 will be the biggest challenge. Par five. Yeah, the par five, the new one. Uh, yeah. I think yeah. that's uh, that's the biggest challenge he will face. Uh, he's uh, pretty much locked in on all the other holes, I think. I've taught him, uh, showed him the lines, and uh, <laughs> and, and now he's him. showing us the lines. Yeah. 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 So this is the first hole outside of the wood. Par four, 175 meters, and you have to go on the left side of the first tree, and uh, I I think it's on the tee side. It says uh, it's 70 meters from the uh, path into the basket. So 
I, you can get an eagle, uh, you can reach it with um, a really good uh, anise reflex shot. But it's OB on the both sides, going towards the basket, so I'm just throwing my rock, playing it safe. That was boring. <laughs> I threw my understable and flat up DX rock, Kiske, old Kiske by rock from uh, Golo. And now I'm yeah, at the perfect spot. I can just throw a soft tizer with my star and we are X3 into the basket. And we have OB on the both side, on the both, both uh, paths around the basket. Bit short, but uh... Uh, it's okay. It, I guess it's ten meters short, maybe. Yeah. Left yourself with a little tricky yeah, cut. Yeah, uh, not a great that cut, but still uh, makeable. Ah, <laughs> that's sick. Yeah, that's good. So uh, you're pretty much throwing everything in on the first try. That's yeah, I think it's been a couple, couple of holes since since I have had two tries. <laughs> but let's see. Now we're going into the woods again. Yep. I'm off it. So I know you usually t grab a bite to eat if you throw a bad shot, but. When it's such a long time since you threw a bad one, and <laughs> you yeah, just have to have a bite. Yeah, you have to eat and drink enough in this good weather. Hole seven. It's a um, it's a difficult uh, par three. I will. I try to go on the left side of the tree in the middle, but you can also go on the right side. But that's uh, a tighter uh, space. Yet the pro aviar. Hmm. Oh, I think it's a bit long, maybe, but I think it's we have something. I think it's a bit long, maybe, but I think it's Uh, we are now at hole 8 and you have uh, the basket straight up and the gap uh, straight in front of us. But we have a man now on the second tree, so you have to go left for that. So uh, it's a, I'm throwing a, a Anheuser Reflex with my Swirl Star T Bird. Online at the championship uh, course on layout. We have uh, two holes combined. We're going, uh, it's a par four, 140 meters, and Tom Eric is standing at the sweet spot if you're playing it safe, but I'm going for the eagle. I'm throwing my champion T bird. Okay, I guess it was not perfect, but it was lucky. <laughs> really? Yeah, I gave me a thumbs up. Wow. I guess we have to show you, you can't uh, always throw the perfect shot. Sometimes you have to be lucky, huh? <laughs> Too low. That should be untapping birdie. 
at least. Hole 10. It's a long par 4, um, but it's pretty much downhill, so you, it's really tough to reach it, but it's possible if you hit the, hit the angle right. And you have OB to the left in the swamp, and also on the road, on the path on the right side. A legendary but, hole, and, yes. and you're so beautifully framed here, because yeah. it's, it's, it's perfect for an eagle. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm throwing a star bottom stamp uh, destroyer. That's good, he said. <laughs> the spotter said it's good? The spotter said it's good. Exciting. Kind of, you kind of actually have an eagle. Yeah, I have a, this is a, I would say, pretty good shot. Yeah, good uh, eagle. What to say? Fadras! <laughs> Fadras! Det er igel! Det er igel! <laughs> okay, yes. after that crazy putt, we're at hole 11. Yeah, uh, we're at hole 11, the swamp hole. Swamp, I think it's swamp. pronounced, but yeah. Swamp. They call it swamp hole here, <laughs> it's a hammer, you know. No, but uh, yeah, this swamp is uh, OB, and you have to throw over uh, uh, over the OB to get a look at the birdie. And I'm throwing an understable star ever three. Nice. That was a false knife. Because it was false. <laughs> false knife. Yeah, I know that uh, expression. I, I've actually heard you say knife so many times, and you actually hit the basket and everything. So yeah, false knife. Yeah. So after two eagles and the rest of them birdies. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is a course where you could score a lot of shots below, but how many shots below do you think you have to average to, to win the Norwegian Championships? To win? I would say maybe uh, four rounds, I think it's seven, 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 maybe. W wow. 28 under. Yeah, uh, you can, it depends. Uh, on the weather, but it's. Uh, I think we're gonna see some pretty hot scores here. I think it, it can be a birdie, birdie party. So I'm just uh, charging up at the birdie uh, station. <laughs> no, it's at 99%, you can see. <laughs> Here at 12. Uh, 90 meter shot. Uh, we have a pretty huge gap we're gonna hit. And uh, don't go too far because it's all big behind. I think that's inside 10 meters. Cool. It's okay.
Okay, so we can barely see the basket through some trees on the left side of the house there, behind the mound. And there's a mando. Yeah, there's a mando on the first tree. You have to go on the right side of it. And you have also OB on the path, going on the even more to the right. It's 140 meters this hole. So it's a, you gotta throw pretty hard. It's my uh, bottom stamp, bottom stamp uh, Thor Destroyer. Oh, I missed it now. I think that's parked. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say, oh no again and then... I... Uh, it almost hit uh, the tree on the right side, so I, uh, I miss it. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, I'm under the basket, but you almost want to land uh, uh, almost 10 meters short, or, or else you have to push the uh, tree here and uh, the height. Yeah, because you were pretty close to that. I was pretty close to that. But I guess I, it worked out this time. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the hole was 140 meters and you threw it 140 and a half. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's... That's good enough? Yeah. So now we are at hole 14, 120 meters. You can see the basket uh, right behind. Yeah, in that the, little crown of trees. Yeah. And you have also OB line where the people are standing. I'm trying to push the OB line a bit with my uh, star T-bird. That's good. Okay, so we're up here at hole 15. It's 140 meters. And uh, the basket is up there with the wood chips. And uh, you have a hazard on the right side. The fairway, and you have a j tight jail wood on the left side, so you have to throw just a perfect shot. So I'm throwing my star uh, destroyer. Almost an ace, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I like the reaction, reaction from Tomatic over there. I, th I think it skipped into the cage. <laughs> on the side of the cage. So yeah, I'm happy with that, that one. <laughs> Here's the par 5 hole, hole 16. You go, you have OB on the left side, and uh, whole way almost, and you also will have a OB on the right side of the fairway. You have a 15 to 20 meters wide fairway all the way, and yeah, you don't get an eagle on this one. Then you have to be, <laughs> then it have to be a throw in. I think it's, I'm not sure, quite sure how far it is. Uh, it would it says uh, 16, 275 meters and 10 meters uphill. So wow. yeah, so the first shot is a placement shot, trying to land uh, with the T pad. You can see over there almost a little bit in front of him. And he's breaking my bag. <laughs> Stepping into their bag, in your bag. Yeah. That's good. So the course designer said this would be the hole you would have more tr trouble with and have 
need to throw more mulligans, but... Yeah, I guess it's the first shot I have been having troubles with when uh, we have been playing practice rounds. I know I nailed, nailed it on the first, so, yeah. first try, so I'm gonna make him eat his words. Okay, so now we have another one of these. He's uh, telling me he's throwing a bottom stab destroyer, and here this comes. As you can see, that's pretty much right in the sweet spot. Aiming for that basket, just to pitch in on his third. Okay, so during the Norwegian Championships, there will probably be an OB line here. Yeah, it will go around here somewhere. It's uh, the OB line. Yeah, so, so we're, you're, you're... A couple of meters uh, safe. Yeah. So Left. Left with uh, like 30 meters, but up, uphill? Yeah, 40 meters, maybe 30 meters. It's uh, a lot. little bit long to jump it, so it's a tip, tip at four end. Should be. <laughs> All right. That's okay. <laughs> Proper par five. Yeah, you have to throw three really good shots. Okay, so hole 17. Yeah, hole 17. And we're already 18 under. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Maybe I should just take a par then. <laughs> oh, this is 90 meters, a much stone hill. And you have a mando on the, to the left of the second pole. And then you also have OB on the path, not the wind we can see, but behind the basket. So I'm just trying to play straight down the path we can see, and hopefully have a putt inside 10 meters with Master or Aviator 3. Input. That's up it. So once again, you're uh, you're complaining, but you're pretty close. <laughs> yeah. Could have been one better, but it's okay. All right. Nineteen under and one hole to go. Yeah. So now we're here at uh, sitting on uh, the bench on hole eighteen. And uh, we're almost finished with the fourth episode of uh, this series. I hope to see you again and uh, like and subscribe. So yeah, now we're gonna hunt the minus 20 yet again. And uh, let's make it with my Swirl Star T-Bird. We have the basket. I don't think, uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's straight in the gap there and we also have a Flex, and I reflex gap, and it's 100 meters. Yeah, you can barely see the yellow, uh, yellow uh, band. Yeah, on top of the baskets. It's a putt. It's a putt. <clears throat> All right, sh last shot of the day. Last shot of the day. 15 meter putt. 15 meter putt, yeah. For the 20 under. Yes! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cue the theme music. Oh, that felt good. Finishing up with my firefly. <laughs>